Uh, welcome to the year nine graphics tutorial on how to use make a case website to create a uh, little skills exercise, which is your pencil box. All right, you need to navigate to the makeacase.com website and choose basic box. Okay, once you're inside basic box, you can see that there's a um, quick start object. Uh, you need to change a few things to create your box. So we're going to change to millimeters. Uh, the width of your box is going to be uh, 80 millimeters. We've got to change the units millimeters. Obviously, height is going to be 100, and depth is going to be 80. Okay, these are going to be the outside dimensions. All right, you'll notice that um, we should have chosen uh, open box. So the material thickness needs to be three millimeters because that's the kind of material we're going to use on the laser cutter. It's going to be a three mil ply. Uh, it's going to be an open box. So we have to choose that to have the open top. We're going to use finger joints. Uh, so that's an interesting thing that it's doing. Uh, so we're going to use finger joints to uh, join the corners of this. So the finger joints give it a bit more strength than just a straight butt join. Uh, the finger size it automatically generates like a, a finger size. And using this little slider, you can change how many fingers that are on each side. Now, when you're modeling your own, you might only choose to do one finger per side, but it gives that additional surface area for gluing. Uh, but you can slide that and maybe you want to choose like two to three fingers per side just to give yourself that additional mechanical strength. Once you've got all of your settings done, you download the box plans. It will give you this layout uh, for your plans, you need to download an SVG file and that can be opened in Illustrator. Uh, once you open that in Illustrator, you need to set it up and customize it for yourself. Okay, so in Illustrator, when you're laser cutting, uh, just remember the cut line has to be, it has to be an RGB file and the cut line has to be a stroke weight of 0 0.01. So it's taking a moment for Illustrator to open, uh, just so, you know, while we wait, we can talk about this. Once you've got it open in Illustrator, you'll notice it's got the labels to say which side is which. You can delete those if you want. Um, and you can add your own patterns. I think it's uh, this one, this example at the front of the room has a few different faces and a few different styles going on. So on this face, it's solid. So it doesn't, you can't see through that. Whereas you can see through that. Um, this one, obviously I've put a pattern on there and I've created a cutout pattern. Um, this one, I've just left it black and it's just etched on the face. That's probably the most distinct difference between the two uh, styles you can choose for your own um, design. So here we've got uh, the setup that they've just given us. They've given us a setup, but it doesn't mean that it suits a laser cutter yet. Um, the one thing that immediately that you need to do is you need to actually change the artboard size because this artboard is not set up for the laser cutter. It's like change, It's like choosing the page size when you go to print. So you need to choose the artboard size. So if you go, uh, I need to actually be able to see some of the, uh, so I need to be able to change my, change my workspace. So I'm gonna to go to Essentials Classics just so I can see all the things on the top. So when I choose artboard, uh, I get a width and a height under Essentials Classic and I wanna change that to 800 and 400. That is the size of the laser cutter bed. So if I double click my hand here, it will zoom out and you can see that it's a much larger area that we print on um, and your object is only a small part of that. And that's, that's more to scale. Now you can um, go ahead. Uh, you just need to check that that's the right kind of red. You can see up here, it's an RGB file, which is the right kind of file for 
uh, laser cutting, it can't be CMYK. Uh, and if they're all sort of grouped together like that, you can just ungroup them or just ungroup, and then you should be able to choose them individually and also delete the labels if you want to. Just remember, if you delete the labels, you're gonna have to jigsaw them back together uh, when you uh, cut it out. You do need to put your name on the bottom of your file. That is essential for everyone. So with the text tool, be careful not to uh, click on the edge of the path because that will turn the whole thing into a text box. Just click in the middle of your bottom and just type your name, okay? That needs to be there just in black. So when we print your file, we know whose product this is, okay? So, um, put your name on the bottom and then you can get some images or uh, patterns and customize your size. But just double check that the actual stroke weight is right, no, it's not. So if I sent that to print on the laser cutter right now, it wouldn't show up red, it would show up black because it needs that right stroke weight to understand that it's a cut line. So it has to change that, those stroke weights and might choose hold shift down and choose all of them in one go. Change that to 0 0.01, 0 0.01. And we'll just double click, check the red by double clicking the red and just making sure that the red is 255, the G or green is zero and the blue is zero. Um, other than adding your own design to the file, uh, that is it. When you do save it, please, save it as an Illustrator file. So don't save it as an SVG file. You do need to change this to Illustrator before you upload to the Google Classroom. That's it, thank you very much.